guys it's Candace welcome back okay so I thought I would do this again a flip through of this um, journal it's the soft cover tomorrow I will get my cover finished so this is like let me make sure I'm in maybe not I guess I got to scooch over okay now oh so all right, this just has a lot of like basic cards. There's some decorated, but some a lot. Most of it's basic. It's kind of like one of those semi-naked journals to where you can come in and add some um, extra stuff in here and and jazz it up. Um, these are some words that you can cut and put on there. This is a double t a double pocket on here, and then it just has some um, blank little journal cards. They're all printed on either 60 pound or um, 110 pound just depends on which card they were and then this is just a sack you can decorate the front but I did decorate the back and it has a pocket on there and then just this little journal card oops you know I don't know I am not well I guess this is how it's going to be I don't know how I'm I've gotten discombobulated. Okay, this is one of the um, one sheet wonder, <laughs> one sheet, one pro, um, multiple project things. So that's that belly band. And then I have this large um, journal card that goes in there. You know, why do things not go back in there when you're filming? And there's, you know, plenty of room in there. But anyway. And then this is just um, a piece of coffee dye paper that's got a little digital print on there that I just folded. And it goes inside this top belly band. And then, you know, there's room that you can decorate here, put some other embellishments and stuff on there. And then it's got some um, crocheted white lace on the side. And then this is just extra, so if you want to cut it up, you can, you know, put it on your pocket or anything else then this is just a little journal card here and then this I made this little tag so it's just backed on white um, card stock and it just has some other little things in here this is from um, here um, Screech Owl Studio it's the Christmas fussy cut it's more of a barnyard stuff it's too too cute um, and then this is um, all things Christmas from um, the junk journal studio and then some doily that I had back there so that's that I put this little tab on here I didn't want to decorate this because you know I didn't know what someone might want to do with it and then I put this um, little red truck washi tape on the bottom so it matches the the front page And then this one, I did glue this doily to the um, parchment paper, but I left the back one unglued in case you want to do something different with it. And then this is one of those double over the side tuck things that we did with the one sheet. So I know. Um, and then this is from the Junk Journal Studio, I believe. Oh gosh, I can't remember. It's one of her Christmas, the... Um, old-fashioned Christmas I believe um, kit and then this is the little um, journal card that that we did with um, some of the offcuts of the boom 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 illustrated this is actually Mrs. Claus takes a vacation that's the name of that book so I put a little tab on here um, and then you know glued the sides down when I put it over so it's actual tuck spot and then I just glued a little bit of coffee dye notebook paper on here so you have some journaling. So, but you can still, you know, like cover here with some journaling pages or, or not. But I just thought the kind of blues and greens and this just kind of went pretty with that coffee dye paper. Well, fabric dye paper, I should say. And then this is the other side, the back of the little side tuck. And then this is another um, journal card from the Junk Journal Studio, her Old Fashioned Christmas. And then this... Man, I don't know who this is from. There's nothing on the page, and I've had it. This is one of the first one, you know, some of the first ones I bought a couple years ago. And I guess next year I'm gonna have to research all this stuff and try to figure it out. So I went back 
and did some overlay pockets on here so that way you know you don't lose the beautiful design from this kit and then um, this is one of Jenny B journals I think it's botanical Christmas I just made an index card I mean on it and put it on um, cream color stock card stock da, 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 da. and then this is um, oh, I think this is eggplant oh doggone it man hold on yes ek e c l e c ek lick tick eggplant printables so e is an elephant c is in cat l is in lion e elephant c cat and t i c eggplant printables so she has some really pretty stuff i have quite a few of her sets but I thought I would use some this year <laughs> and this just looked like an old postcard um, with Santa talking to the little girl on the phone all right and then this one I believe this is another eggplant card and this you know like I said we did this on the original flip through so I'm not going to kind of go through all that oh but I went and did another overlay pocket on here um, just printed this page again, backed it on cardstock, I mean book page, and put it on here. So this is exactly what's underneath it. As you can tell, his little foot's hanging out here. But so that one goes in here. And then this is just some um, coffee dye, a digital on coffee dye paper to go back there just to pull in some of the red. And then um, this is just, you know, some extra paper I put on this page. And then this is a few more journal cards and then this I did not put anything in here but uh, well these are my little notes <laughs> but that there's a little pocket that you can um, put something in and then I did another um, overlay pocket on here just so you can get the whole design but you know like we did before you know I love doing those and then this is um, I don't even know who but it's it's a digital <laughs> I'm sorry wish I had names on there but anyway so that card goes in there and then this is just and this is another one from I believe the eggplant place and then this is from the junk journal studio her um, old-fashioned Christmas I just cut it down because it's, it's a real tall one but you can decorate that and I just thought it went pretty in here with this and I put um, washi tapes on the bottom of these little ones just because you know it had to do with baking so I thought it was cute and I put washi tape on top of here it's just um, it's blue on blue it's just um, snow snow for days winter buddies snowed in and something loving it <laughs> oh. and then I put um, some red lace on here I was going to put a pocket on here, but ran out of stuff. I know. So see, that's something you can do. Or you can make a side tuck, a pocket. Who knows? And then this is one of the other one-sheet multiple projects that we did. So this is where I glued it on here. And then this is just a little um, Merry Christmas card, a little tag. I put some sorry silk on here, which obviously is flip-flopping around. Gonna drive me a little batty. All right, so that goes in there, and then this is another one of those cards that newer. I think there was twelve per page. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know, nine or twelve. Shoot, I know. I'm sorry. I'm bad. All right, and then this is a little journal card I made. Um, this is a digital here. And then some of the light green painter's paper. This is from, oh, doggone. I don't know. Mm. Oh, I think this is this one, which is Adamo Prince. I got, yeah, that's her right there. So I got her from Adamo Prince. And then this is the Junk Journal Studio, her All Things Christmas. So that card goes in here. And then this is, 
I believe Victoria Designs, and I just um, backed it, I mean printed, it's double printed on 32 pound paper, and so that just tucks in here to write on for journaling spot. And then this is another one from, I believe, the eggplant place. I know. Sorry. I'm bad. Oh, all right. Oops, sorry. Another one of that bright copper paper. Oh, and then this one, I just put a little bit of the brown parchment and then a label from the Junk Journal Studio, Sturdy All Christmas. This is from Janie B. Journals. And then some of our gingham. But, um, and then this is just a journal card that you can decorate. And then this is another one from Eggplant. Eclectic Eggplant. And then I put washi tape in between on these pages just to give them a little more, you know, personality because they were just kind of plain. And then I just decorated this one with some, a little chocolate tartlet recipe, some from the Screech Owl, and then some, um, craft doily and I left these blanks so you can either write in them or decorate them and this too you can add pockets do do whatever and I put these little pom-poms on here I thought they were cute and this is the center oh I still got to put some um charmies in here and then I just did a little side tuck from one of the little journal cards from the egg eggplant place I know I can't remember. eclectic eggplant I'm hoping if you look up eggplant, you can find it, but I'll try to link it. Oh, and then this one I did not decorate. I just left it plain, but it still has the same washi tapes on the inside. And then here, I just um, used some scraps and some washi and a label from the Junk Journal Studio. This is from Junk Journal Studio on her um, old-fashioned Christmas kit. A tag, for, I mean, a, yeah, a large tag. There's like three per page. And then this is from the Eclectic Eggplant. Another little journal card there. Okay. Watch your eyes. I know that's bright. Okay. And then this was another thing that we did. Part of that um, one, one page multiple projects thing. So I just rounded the corners. Put a little label in there from the Junk Journal Studio. Put some coffee dye in here. Oh, doggone it. This is a pocket, so let's see, do I have a, there, I have a scrap. It will come with a scrap, <laughs> just so you know, there's a pocket in there, so do your thing. All right, oh, and doggone it, there's another pocket there too. Ah, stink bugs. Hey, those will fit in there, okay. I think I might have another one of those. But anyway, that goes over this little belly band. So I put it on here. And this is from, from Teresa and my little happy mail, my Santa Teresa. Hey, Teresa. Thank you. See, I'm using them. And then I put one down here. And then I just made an extra pocket down here because it just needed a little something, I thought. And then I put two more of these little cards in there. And then this is some of that thick parchment deli paper. And then this thing... It's an altered envelope. So remember we have that little piece of the book on there? Well, I put a paper hinge on there, collaged on the back of the envelope, and then collaged on the front of the envelope. Let's see if I can pull this card out. And then put this little um, doobobby from Fussy Cut <laughs> from Screech Owl. Uh, Screech Owl Studio and then just use some of the scraps that I had laying around from you know the other kits and stuff I was using and then this is one of the um, journal cards I signed it um, that I had made before so I put that in there so that is this long big old tag okay so let me make sure I'm back in oops okay now I am but I gotta go over. Okay, so that's that one. And I just added some of the other paper that I had on there just because there was the little book thing. So all I did was make my altered envelope and then I laid it on here where I wanted to put it and figured out how big I wanted my scrap paper. I filmed this. We made this together once, but 
the video went poof in YouTube La La Land. So I'll we'll have to make another one. I'll have to remember to make another one like this. But so that way you can see how I attach it in here. But like I said, I just made the envelope, laid it down where I wanted it to, do, to be because I didn't want it to be on the very edge of here. I wanted a little bit of the paper to show. So that's how I figured out where I wanted it. Cut my little scrap paper, made my little paper hinge so that way you can journal on here too. And then just folded it over and creased it. And that's how I attach that on there. So you still have this other piece of that book page. And I put some washi down here. So you could either leave it like that or you could still attach something else to here that would be, let's just say, this is, you know, a big piece of paper. You can attach it to the back. And, okay, this this will, this will is a better visual. I know I've got kind of scrap over there. So you could attach, like, a big piece of paper on here, you know, cut it down to the size you want it, and then attach it to the back, and that way you have... It would look like this. You'd have this flip. You'd have this journal here. You could journal over there. And then this page would flip, and you would have another page back here to journal on. But I did not do that because I liked this blue and green, and I wanted it to match. But feel free to do whatever you want with it. Okay. And then this one. This is um, a cut-down journal card from the Junk Journal Studio. Her... um old-fashioned Christmas the mega kit and then this is another one from the eclectic eggplant that goes in there and like I said there's room for you to you know decorate it and schmooze it up some more and then like here too um you can put a pocket or whatever there's just there's still tons of stuff that you can do so I made another um overlay on this page um so that way we could have a side tuck this is oh, I think this is Victoria design and this is from oh, those other people. I don't know who they are. I know, I know. Sorry. If you really want to know, ask me. But don't hold your breath. Oh, I did not ink on here. Hold on, let me ink real quick. Can't have them all inked and not this one. And then this is just um, some scrap that I had. Um, that I made just a, a side tuck so you can you know put something larger in there it goes all the way from here to there but I put this in there just because I was trying to keep the little blue snowflake there and then I just layered it up with two other pieces of paper that I cut down to make um, a double pocket on here so this is this is a short one because I glued it right there I should have left it open so it would have went in there but I did not so it's just a shorty tuck I know sorry but this one is a regular long one but there's still room in there for a nice little journal card and then this goes in here and then back here I just this is a little piece of um, scrap I had that was the bottom part of that long tag I thought this was pretty because the red and greens kind of all go in here and then this is from oh shoot 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 mm -mm -mm. I don't know, but I believe it's the same purse, same kit from this original one, but just another kit. It's Soft Christmas by whoever these people are. Um, oh, I'm bad. Av Art De De Decor. I believe this is from them, and it's called Soft Christmas. I, I hope I'm not wrong. And this is another eclectic eggplant. But I like the blue because, you know, it went with, with here. I know, Bridget. I hear you. I should have made that a pocket, but I did not. <laughs> All right. Let me make sure I didn't wiggle out of the place. Okay. And then this is an overlay, another overlay. And I just put one little card in there because I didn't want to cover that up because it was so cute. But, you know, these little flames and all this go... These little, these two kits inter, intermingle. Like I said, it's from the same place. I just don't know the name. I think it is. I think it's called Soft Christmas that that one's from. All right. And then this is that other um, one that we made from the other, the double, the double tuck 
one project, one sheet of paper, one project. So I um, attached it on there like, like this. It goes all the way down to here. So it goes behind here. And then I um, glued a little piece of um, paper on here. Oh, am I even in frame? Yeah, I'm good enough. Okay, let me, whoop, okay. Um, and then I just glued a little pocket on here, some other paper and a little label. And um, this is from the same soft Christmas kit. And just put that on there. And then you have this whole page to um, write on. And so, you know, it flips like that. And so this you can, you know, put some more paper on here so you can journal on there too. And then, whoops, wrong page. And like I said, back here, as you could tell, this goes underneath here. But I wanted to put another little pocket on here. So I just used a, some of the... Um, scrap paper that I had from this kit. I thought it was cute, went with it. And then this is, this is the vintage gift wrap that the Junk Journal Studio has. I just shrunk it down five by seven, two per page. And then I did a little collage on here with um, some recipe, Junk Journal Studio, All Things Christmas, some um, What's Your Dinky Doily, and this little girl. And it's just on cream stock, card stock, and it goes behind there. And then this, um, is another one of the tags that came from the Junk Journal Studio Mega Christmas, Old Fashioned Christmas. I just trim, you know, cut it down to fit inside here because I took this and turned it into a, a, a top-loading pocket. What did I call it last time? Um, a plocket or something, <laughs> I think, because I had got tongue-tied before. So there's that little page. And then, you know, there's room here to journal all on this side. And then there's room to add more more journal cards in here okay and then like I said this is the one that I left open in case you wanted to do something different with it but if not just glue it down like the front one let me get back I might be off out of frame and then on this one where the um, deli papers glued I put the little washi tape on here too and then just put a little tab on here to open like I said I didn't put anything on here because I wasn't sure because I think the stories are pretty interesting. And then this one is, I took an extra page like I had from in here that I had printed on cream color stock because I didn't like it. I, I had printed it on white because anyway. So then I decided I would cut the tree down, cut it at an angle, and then backed it with some brown um, card stock to get a double pocket out of it. So this is, um, mm, this is some My Coffee Dye, original coffee dyes on the back. This is red and cream from, oh, whoever the red and cream comes from. I know. See, I've been gone too long and I forgot everything. So, but that goes in there because I used to could remember it because I was doing it, but no. And then this is some of the vintage gift wrap from the Junk Journal Studio. And that goes, I put that in that one. And then this is another a little card from the Soft Christmas from that Av, Av Art Decor. And I just put that in there. You can move it around. I just thought it was pretty. And then this is um, just some banners that I did for tuck spots. So you got a couple of tuck spots there. And then this one, this little pocket, um, it's a pocket on top too, but I didn't put anything in there. If I can find something, I'll put something in there. If not, well, you might be on your own on that one. <laughs> and then the um, pocket inside, and there's still room to decorate something on the back. And then um, this one is just like the front with the double pocket. This is from the Junk Journal Studio. Oh... All Things Christmas, maybe? I forgot already. It's a whole sheet. I know, it's sad. I'm sorry, Michelle. But I love it. It's so pretty. This is like my favorite section. Because I like cardinals. Because mine and my grandma. And then this is from whoever. I don't know. I have to find it. And then this is from the Soft Christmas from Av... Shoot. Av Art Decor. All right, and then back here, this is um, part of another kit. I think these are irresistible prints that I did. 
and um, then this is another tag from the Junk Journal Studio on her Mega Christmas. I just, you know, cut it out, trimmed it down to fit in my spot. Then had some sheet music, um, another little thing from the Screech Owl Studio, and then a label from the Junk Journal Studio. And that is this one. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to put my snowflake lace think I'm going to do some grommets, maybe. I don't know. I think I am. I don't know, because then i got to go through all this. So, i got to think on that one. I might just wrap something around there, because, you know, i got that double pocket, so I have extra fabric and junk in there, and then the sewing that's going to be in my spot. So, that might be a, a no-no. I might just have to tie, but I've got my plans for this. So, that is... The Christmas tree truck. <laughs> and then, you know, like I said before, these... Oh, well, this will go in there. I have these extra little... I could put that one in that one. So that's just, you know, like I said, this is how deep it is. It goes that deep. So you could, you know, tuck things in here. But this one down here is, you know, a big deep one. So I'll put that one in there. I think that's cute. It goes good with all with the reds and... All that. Okay. And then I guess I need to scrounge around and find something else to go in the back. But this is kind of full for a semi-naked thing. But it's still got lots of uh, lots of play. Lots of writing. Lots of stuff. Alright. So there you go. So now I did the flip flu. Flip flu. The flip through of the uh, journal that we worked projects on with the invisible the invisible man um, that got lost in uh, you know where land so but what would that look like on there see I mean you could even take that off of there and put it on here and make that a like on your belly band I don't know you do your thing all right so, I will see y'all later. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some of the time with me. Um, I will keep, like I said, I got to get back in here. I forgot everything. It's just like, uh, da, 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 da. I don't know no more. And anyway, you're lucky I know my name. So, I will see y'all in the next video. Um, y'all have a great day, a blessed day. Lots of love, lots of kisses, lots of love. And thanks for all your support. And tomorrow, which is going to be Tuesday, I will go up on that... Um, video from the 24th I think I believe is when it started and I will pull some names from here this is my scribble scrabble just in case you want to know I've managed to get myself into a situation I volunteered to help cook for a, a function that's coming up on Wednesday the day after tomorrow oh I thought it was like next week and I thought it was going to be like vacation Bible school, you know, like a few hours in the evening. Well, no, it's like Thursday and Friday from 8 a.m. to 9 o'clock at night and 9.45. Holy cow, y'all. And then Wednesday, 5 to almost 9 o'clock at night. And then Saturday, New Year's Eve from 8 a.m. to um, 11.15. So, anyway, I thought it was going to be you know, shorter stuff. <laughs> but anyway, I committed. So now tomorrow I got to try to do some videos, squish them all in because yeah, I'm going to be a tired puppy for volunteering at church. But anyway, oh, I'll know not to do it next time. <laughs> I know that's wrong, huh? <laughs> Boo, Canis, Boo, Canis. That's just a lot of time to dedicate, you know? So, oh, anyway. So, okay. Sorry, y'all. The ones who like to volunteer and do everything. I don't mind. I really don't mind volunteering. But I thought it was just going to be a couple of hours, a couple of days. Oh, y'all. Okay. But I, I'll sleep good for like three nights. Well, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four nights, I'll, I should sleep. But then I gotta get up early in the morning, <laughs> take care of the dogs, hit them out, get down, get out the out the door, and get there in time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, enough whining. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Thanks for listening to my my dilemma, cause 
I got myself in a big, a deep hole on that one. All right, but oh well. Eh, I'll have fun, but I'll be tired. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, guys.